you know. Uh, Man's Law, Tiffany. Secondly, y'all, I'm, I'm going to say something right here. Y'all can call it controversial if you want, but I'm going to say it. Even if you do want to trace it back to the Pentateuch and say that these laws were God's laws handed down in the Bible, in the Torah, I have no problem with that. But I do want you all to realize that those laws, those scrolls, those scriptures, those revelations were revealed to specific people, specific tribes, in a specific region of the earth. What makes you think they apply to you, Tiffany? Okay. What's your opinion on divorce, Honorable Deacon? And, and let me say one more thing, too. Mm-hmm. If Adam and Eve went through the whole thing with the sin and the apple and all that, and Cain and Abel, Cain killing Abel, and they still uh, worked it out, Tiffany, you can go through anything and stay with your man. Whether he cheats, you cheat, people murder each other, he murders somebody, not you. Still stay to, stay, stay together. Nobody says you have to get divorced. And uh, you say you don't want to break God's vow. God's vow. Okay. It's a vow between you and the man. But you're saying God's vow. You don't want to break the vow. Uh, you know. Just uh, just ride or die. Be ride or die. Okay. I don't believe you. The thing, the thing goes a lot deeper, but there are other aspects of it because there was Lilith before Eve. And that was some yeah. sort of divorce that went on with Adam and Lilith before Eve was created. Exactly. See, I didn't touch on that. Lord have mercy, boss lady's going to listen back at this show. So for those of you uh, biblical people, go back and research Lilith. You've heard in modern times, Lilith Fair. You've heard her in folk tales, the lullaby. Go back and research who Lilith was and the story with her. Okay? But that's a good point, Honorable Deacon, and that's why you are a Deacon, it's because when we talk about divorce, <laughs> what happened first? Okay. Spicy was saying uh, in response that I had asked, what does all of that good sex do to their bodies when they're unable to walk? Yes. Yes, indeed. Tiffany says she does want to get married. Tiffany, if you want to get married, Get married. People get married every day. Uh, Stephanie says, do a background check, birth certificate, uh, family background, and credit report before you say I do. She will cuss out mama, sisters, cousins, and brothers. Glad she's not married. There are too many bipolar ninjas. Uh. Do you think that, do you agree with Stephanie, Uncle, uh, um, Honorable Deacon, background Man, checks? Are, whoa. Uh, that I think might the love, be a good thing to do. Uh, you know, I think love falls in there some way. Some way and somewhere. Um, you know, what if a person has bad credit? Do you think that you should not marry a person because they have bad credit? Uh, or is she may be just saying you want to be aware of their bad credit? Well, not necessarily bad credit per se. Well, my thing is how many people I know. This one girl uh, that all of her boyfriends have, well, her recent boyfriends have died strangely. Um, a cousin of one of my baby mamas, her boyfriends have died strangely. And I know one other chick, and, and she thought it was the funniest thing ever. The dude died with his butt in the air. He fell on the floor. 
and his butt was in the air, and she just made all type of jokes, and she thought he was playing, but he was actually dead. I don't know what actually went on with that either. So you might want to be aware if they are killing people. Look, a friend of mine says that she had the killer pussy. I think that's what he was saying. Yep. She got that killer pussy, killer pussy, pussy. She got that killer pussy, pussy. Yep. Yeah, so you have to be aware of things like that for sure. Mm-hmm. Another thing about the background check, too, you want to see how many motherfuckers have put restraining orders on her. That's a lesson I learned. That's a good point also. Yeah. But, you know, sometimes if you got, if you have a hustler mentality, you know, you can roll with a person with bad credit if they know how to make some money, you know. Right. I'm not saying that broke is in fashion, though. But I'm saying, you know, you, you may love somebody. They may have great pussy. They may have a fine bad body. And they may have a great mind. So you have to appreciate things other than monetary things. Three three four Bama Sometimes boy says their mother has put their her mother has put the rent in her I mean not the rent but the power in the, kid, in the kid's name and they grow up with fucked up credit. Grow up with it. Shit, if it wasn't for free lunch at school, they wouldn't be able to afford lunch. Cause it yeah. couldn't yeah, yeah, mother fuck they shit up. Parents fuck they shit. Good point, honorable deacon. Three three four Bama boy, you know I was speaking of uh, the 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 lady across the bay from me here down in Florida. Three three four Bama boy says she wants to get married. They plan on getting married one day, he supposes. But when he strongly thinks about popping the question, he starts to think, "Damn, do I want to do this for the rest of my life?" I stay say, in, and "Stay out." What'd you say? Day in, day out. If it's the wrong person, it's just going to be the wrong you, person. I'm telling you right now, and I would love to hear what Chief Rock has said to this. I'm telling you right now, 334 Bama Boy, marriage is a beautiful thing. But hell no, you don't want to do it for the rest of your life. Oh my goodness, you don't want to do it for the rest of your life. What's the wrong person? If you have the right person and you can date the right person, date the right person. If she wants a ring, buy her a ring. If she wants a house together, buy a house together. Dig that. And on to other subjects. Oh my goodness. Okay. Stephanie says she'll just confess and become a nun then. You have to make sure that men were born. Oh. <laughs> you have to make sure men were born men these days and she doesn't deal with messy in-laws shout out to dollars and cents coming in dollars and cents rocking from Kalamazoo Dollar, dollars and cents was in Denmark a little while ago so welcome back to the states Clay MC Brains Davis has joined us for the first time in the Lonely Hearts Cafe thank you for joining us Clay Davis Clay Tell us where you are. Tell us what city you're located in. We love to shout out the cities here. Um, Clay says, never marry a person with bad credit. Then it's your bad credit. I somewhat agree. I somewhat agree. And I can be thankful for not being in a heavily uh, populated transgender area. Not to say what you were saying earlier about not doing What Tiffany was saying about not doing it. Then I actually then it goes the same way for guys nowadays. Yeah, you have to really be sure that a lady is a lady, a woman, a girl, has female body parts that they were born with, not created in the doctor's office. Yep. Yep. Tiffany asked us to explain to her what killer pussy is. And you're from California, okay, Tiffany? So killer pussy, I'll give you an example of killer pussy. Okay, here's an example of killer pussy. I have a cousin. Now, just hear me out on this. I have a cousin. He was in a long term relationship with this young lady. At one 
time he entered a their residence and there was another female there and some argument ensued the details are grainy he shot the female friend of his girlfriend you can read between the lines if you want to the female friend of his girlfriend is now deceased and he served a long prison term related to that murder okay while he was in prison that female dated another cousin of mine as yeah, Alabama and that cousin was killed in some kind of argument over her so her pussy attracts death usually it's the guys like in, you know, in the first scenario I gave it was her best friend who died but if they were lovers then it was attached to her pussy so uh, her pussy attracts death so she has kill a pussy and Honorable Deacon was talking about the mysterious deaths surrounding the female that he spoke of earlier. Go ahead, Honorable Deacon, if you want to expand on that a little bit. No, it's just how it is. They they died so many years after dating her. They were in a relationship with her and mysteriously died on a couple of different occasions. Um, I can't say that she poisoned them. I don't know exactly what happened. I just know they wound up dead. And she gives me, they gave me the creeps every time I came around them. Indeed. Indeed. Danny says, just because a person has bad credit doesn't mean they're broke. Clay Davis says, bad credit lets him know how a person handles their finances. So there's discussion on that. Uh, Danny says, could mean you made bad mistakes when you were younger and didn't have the right tools or knowledge to fix it. Um, uh, Leon says he would fuck her to death, but she can keep that killer pussy. Uh, Danny's <laughs> Danny says it's almost time for her and Aloysius to get married. Well, damn. Let's see that one coming. It's nine forty-two. I guess the baby time. Do Stephanie women says, in Louisiana still do the what is it? Uh, it's not. Is it voodoo? What is yeah. it? They bury your, your your drawers in the backyard or something like that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, what are you getting at? Uh, it's just, it just went back to the killer pussy thing, but I was just wondering. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Stephanie says she was dating a guy who told her that he was divorced. She went to the courthouse and saw the marriage certificate and no divorce. She told him he had to go. Chief Rocker is planning uh, to visit Danny in Miami. Go ahead, Honorable Deacon. I forget what I was about to say. Was it no, anything related? Uh, loving a, a person, regardless of marriage, stops them from uh, dating. Well, obviously not. Because there are a lot of people dating, a lot of women dating married men and vice versa. Yeah, that's so true. she was firm with her belief as far as that was concerned. Indeed. Uh, shout out to Grego. Grego has just joined us. Grego. Amen. Okay. Okay, so for those who have just joined us, we're going to go to take a quick commercial break. And then we're going to come up and wrap up tonight's show. Quick commercial break. And we are going to wrap up tonight's show. You are back with us. And I need you, and I need you. Who cut the music on like that? You gotta fade it in, fade it in. Walter head, Walter. Fade it in. Okay. So we're gonna take a break, and then we're going to come back with you all in about two minutes. With another edition of the Lonely Hearts Cafe. 